We hope to maintain the awareness of people about Peter Greston being locked up in Egypt, really for being a journalist. Um, he's an Australian, so we support him. We want to support his family. His brother Michael is here. We hope people will enjoy the music, and as they're enjoying the music, we'll think about why we're here, which is to support someone that seems to me is wrongfully imprisoned. Uh, that's the plan, anyway. Right. And um, in terms of your playing tonight, your band, the Lex Pistols, uh, you've been around a long time. Is this the pinnacle of your this music, musical career? This is absolutely the pinnacle, Mark. This is, uh, this is the biggest gig we'll ever do, I suspect. And uh, we're sharing the stage with people that all of us, I think, have admired for a lot of years now. And yes. uh, it's a great privilege for us. Ross Wilson, uh, the Rockwiz Orchestra are playing, of course, Mark Seymour from Hunters and Collectors, Ella Hooper from Killing Heidi, um, um, Frente, um, that's most of them, the Bull Sisters, and they're very enthusiastic about it. Yeah. So it's great. Big crowd. Yeah, it will be a big crowd. Enjoy it while it's nice and vacant. <laughs> <laughs> Michael Gresty, your brother Peter's been in prison in uh, Egypt since last December. He's facing seven more years. Uh, how's he bearing up? Oh, he's, he's a remarkably strong character. Uh, he, he once said to me that um, you know, if anyone told him that he'd be spending you know, seven years in prison, he never thought he'd be able to make it. Thankfully, he hasn't you know, had to do that just yet, but we don't know how long he's going to have to last in there. But he's got a tremendous resolve and um, a very strong character. And you, you dig deep when you're in, in times of trouble like this and you find renewed strength. So he's coping OK. Great. And uh, tonight's event, we're expecting maybe 800 people here, a sell-out crowd, some big bands, yeah. not least the Lex Pistols. Uh, what do you think tonight will will do in terms of helping Peter and your family? Oh, look, it's 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 threefold really. It's it's the fundraising, which is going to go a tremendous way towards helping us um, continue the campaign. Uh, a lot of you know uh, unforeseen costs in in a campaign like this, so it certainly uses those pressures. Um, you know, the, the publicity, just keeping their the, the story in the, in the public and in the limelight is, is, is very useful as well. And notwithstanding the fact that it, it certainly buoys us and, and gives us a tremendous, the family a tremendous amount of motivation and support to, to keep going. You know, we've been working especially hard for the last eight months to try and campaign for Peter's release. So to see, um, you know, receive all this sort of support and, and generosity from, from people and complete strangers that we've never met before is really uplifting and, and helps to sort of keep us going. Right. Well, best wishes Thank you to you and to Peter. Thank you. It is our duty as people who are free and able to speak to help our colleague and our friend, our compatriot, who's found himself in the most awful predicament. Members and friends of Peter Grester's family, other distinguished guests who support the release of Peter Grester from prison in Egypt, members of the legal profession who support the release of Peter Grester from prison in Egypt, those of you who have just come along to support the legal profession who want to support the release of Peter Grester in prison in Egypt, people we don't even know who support the people we do know who support the legal profession who support the release of Peter Grester in prison in Egypt, people who we don't like who know the people that we know who know people in the legal profession, who know people who know the family and know the man himself, Peter Grester, who is in prison in Egypt. Anyone who barracks for Carlton, who also knows the people who we don't like, who knows the people that we know, who know people in the legal profession, who know the family and the cause and who support the release of Peter Grester from prison in Egypt, welcome. It is an absolute pleasure to be with you here at the Hi-Fi Club at a concert to raise awareness and funds to support the release campaign for Peter Grester from prison in Egypt. Thank you everybody so much for coming. We believe that a free press is essential to a fair and just society and a critical part of holding governments to account. Journalists report the news, they investigate the facts, and they have an obligation to report objectively to the rest of the world. But what happens when journalists can't do their job? Secrets are kept, human rights abuses are swept under the carpet, and governments and those in power are not held to account. And that's exactly why we're here tonight, because the locking up of Peter Dresta and his colleagues at Al Jazeera, Mohammed Fahmy and Bayou Mohammed, 
in Egypt is just not unjust. It's an attack on the freedom of the press itself, and it's an attack on all of our freedoms. Yeah. We've seen these men locked up just for reporting the news. Unfortunately, it's a trend that's reflected worldwide. And I'll, I'll talk a bit about a few countries where this is going on in a minute. But uh, before I do that, I did also want to uh, pay my respects. Uh, we've seen, of course, the, uh, the terrible video of uh, James Foley, the American reporter, and uh, the apparent execution of him this week. And, and uh, I think uh, it just does bring into, uh, into a highlight the incredible risks that journalists take in conflict zones. Um, and uh, we, uh, our hearts go out to his family and to the families of the other journalists, of course, who are, who are still being held in Iraq and Syria. And uh, hopefully they will come home safely. Unfortunately, in conflict zones around the world, journalists are targeted for reprisals and, and attacks. Um, in Pakistan, um, we, Amnesty International has, has spoken to over 100 journalists who've, who've appeared uh, to be repressed by the government there and had their activities restricted. Um, and the editors of the uh, Pakistan press have documented 11 cases of journalists in Pakistan who've been executed uh, because of the work that they've been doing simply reporting the news in Pakistan. In Burma, despite some improved improvements in that country, uh, the media watchdogs there tell us that uh, there is still intimidation and arrests of journalists. And in July, we saw five journalists who were sentenced to over 10 years of hard labour simply for reporting the facts in that country. This is despite the fact that direct censorship of the media is supposed to have been ruled out as far back as 2012. Ukrainian journalists are work, used to working under tough conditions, but uh, the media freedom, of course, has declined rapidly with the crisis there since the situation in Crimea back in February. Um, in April, journalists were abducted when uh, pro-Russian forces took over a part of eastern Ukraine, and three of the journalists have been released, but several others are still missing. Two other men who were abducted previously were later found in the river and uh, their bodies bear the telltale signs of torture, unfortunately. For Peter Grister, still in jail in Egypt, his imprisonment demonstrates that attack on the freedom of the press affects us all. It's media workers like Peter who ensure that governments are held to account. The complete lack of evidence that supports any claims of these men having been committed a crime is why Amnesty International classes them as prisons of conscience, because they've been in prison simply for doing their jobs. Throughout this campaign, the authorities in Egypt, in Egypt have continued to target the staff of Al Jazeera, and uh, this has been taken as a viable warning to other journalists in the country. One such journalist is, uh, is Abdullah Al Shami, who was beaten by security forces after he was arrested last year. He's since been released, but of course there are many others, including Peter, who sadly have not. So that's why we need to stand behind Peter Grester and his colleagues tonight and show that we won't be silenced because press freedom and democracy itself is under attack. We can do this by continuing to place public pressure on, journalists, on Egypt's current government and making sure that President al-Sisi and the men in, in power in Egypt um, enable journalists to simply do their job. So speaking out loud and clear is what's needed and at Amnesty International we know that every one of you can make a difference. So what I'd like you to do tonight, we have here uh, at my right you'll see the sign with the petition SMS sign on it. If you've got a mobile phone on you, can you get your phone out now? And what you can do is if you send your full name, just your first name and your last name and send that to the SMS number there, which is 0419-695-066, and you can add your name to the petition to free Peter Gester. He's with you tonight with his band. Would you make them welcome on stage the